Hey. Room service? No room service. Look at my hair. Look at that. I, I had to, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's looking, like, kind of greasy. <laughs> yeah, because it was the hotel shampoo and not even the good guy. Oh, yeah. no, it, wasn't it probably shampoo. wasn't shampoo. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to crank off a batch into the cream rinse oh. bottle. That's what I said. Uh. That whore just beat me. Beat me out of my money. I'm going to get the next whore that tried to shampoo her hair. I'm going to crank off a batch right in the shampoo bottle. Tony. How you doing? Uh, all right. What's up? Yo, how come Opie, you just didn't sleep in your drawers and then free bag it today? Yeah, why didn't you free <laughs> bag it? All right. dude. Why didn't you free bag it? Any way you looked at it, though, the, the, you know, I had to take care of the undies. They, or dude, no, dude. They, were, they were hurting. Dude, you could have. You could have at least. I at least at the sun in that big deal. Go out today after, you know, taking a shower and buying a pair of underwear. You only had, would have had a free bag it maybe for an hour. Hey, right. I went, I went to the Gap and bought a brand new shirt. You could go to Dwayne Reed and pick up a package of underwear. You could have done that. You sleep in your underwear last night to just set up some kind of perimeter around your junk. Do you guys understand that I could not continue wearing these underwear? Well, I'll tell you this. I took a girl to a hotel <laughs> like that one time. They were horrific. Were they really a disaster area? <laughs> Police tape around it. Oh, what you happened? Know, a puddle on your bike. You know, it's, it's like I'm the only hot yesterday. Like I'm the only one. It was a hot day yesterday. You're sweating like a pig as you're walking around and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, things happen. Working up a lather. <laughs> things happen. Like like the horses that pull the uh, pull the little wagons out here around Central Park on a hot day. They work that foam up. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're working up the foam. <laughs> Well, it must, uh, have been, it must have been hundreds of dingleberries in that bed. Oh, oh. Just think, everyone must say that. Oh, man, this is filthy. I'm going to take my underwear off. <laughs> it was, uh... And you're just like, you might as well have just been... Dude, you know what's going on on those beds? You know what was going on in the, in the underpants? Butter, uh, butterscotch comes to mind. Put it this way. If you walked in, if you walked in that room, right? Let's yeah. say you walk in the room. There's a naked man in the bed. He gets up, leaves the room. Would you lay down in that bed? They changed the sheets. Oh, not at that place. Not at that place, dude. They had a they had a Jamaican lady, like you know, working working the floors. How about you said the sheets didn't fit and they kept sliding off they the mattress, and off. then you wake up and you're on bare mattress. And, and how the, many guys do you think that happens to? I don't even want to think about it. Everybody. Very thin pillows. Oh, uh, the thin uh, crack pillows. It wasn't even a blanket. It was just a, a spread. No, wait a minute. Now now here comes another thing. Spread. Was it just one spread when you walked in the room? Sheet spread. Under the sheet. Spread over the sheet. There was no, like, top thing that you always throw off the bed the second you get in a hotel because those are the drunk people that, that just spread. have sex instantly uh, on that. That was uh, a spread. That's what you used? Uh, what are you going to do? I need to be covered. Oh, my God. You have a communicable disease right now. <laughs> no. Right now. No. you got to lock up your genitals in your underwear. No sign of Twato walking around in, in your room? No. <laughs> I just needed a room. It was late and I had a crash. And I'm reading about how we're the up-and-coming radio stars from my, my room at the Crack Hotel. At the crack. Oh, great. What an image. Opie's sack frothing like a cappuccino from Starbucks. <laughs> they look like someone drops a mochaccino in your pants. <laughs> oh. Uh. So, there you have it. Wow, what a, what a paradox, huh? Yeah, it's funny. People think we're doing so well, and it was pretty pathetic last night. You're at the Crack Hotel. Crack Hotel. Why don't you go to the park or something? It's right down the road. Uh, well, I checked out of uh, the Crack Hotel. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you checked out? Yeah, I had to check out. I'm going to stay somewhere else tonight. Oh, you're staying, so oh, you're staying in tonight, too? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Check out. I it's called go. fleeing the area. I still got to find underwear for tomorrow, but... <laughs> Did you go to Dwayne Reed? You're better off staying at Stinky's house than at that place. <laughs> With his roommate. <laughs> hey, man, it, it's still better than uh, the times I had to uh, you know, crash on Ben's couch. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, you don't know what's... Ah, oh, man. Dude, that's awful. Wow, wow. Dude, my couch... Dude, that, that dude hotel your is couch, disgusting. Your couch, every, every one of your friends that have moved from Boston have stayed on that couch, so and you I haven't changed the sheets on that thing. <laughs> it's just as bad. 
Plus, yeah. you get the extra bonus when you stay with Ben. He wakes up in the middle of the night and giggles <laughs> all night. And then his phone rings at 3 in the morning because one of his drunk friends is still out and wants to talk to Ben at that moment. It's funny. That's what he does. <laughs> I don't know when you sleep, man. Uh, uh, Dude, you'd have been safer just grabbing a refrigerator box and laying it in front of the, run, r- laying it in front of the, the station's building. Jesus Christ! Dude, have you? I'm serious now. Have <laughs> I, you checked I, yourself for crabs? <laughs> you really have to look. Don't even during the that. break. Do, please don't listen even to start me. That. If, when we go to break, yeah. go into the bathroom. Really look around. I would know the, by your, now. No, no, you 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 might not. Look, look. Please, you've got to check because if you spread crabs throughout this studio, spread crabs. We're the dynamic radio duo. You Just think check. the dynamic radio duo would get crabs. They, it's crabs are like kryptonite to the dynamic radio duo. Dude, My Ziggy's God. laughing at you right now. Oh, and I got a better place than you. Try explaining that STD to your girl. No, serious. I, I caught these scabies from a crack hotel bed. I swear. I have no STDs and I have no crabs. Thank you very check much. Check for crabs. I Rick, don't. you got crabs once, right? How long did it take before you knew you had them? A couple of days. A couple of days. And if you saw early, you might see one clinging. They cling on to the hair like... Rrr! They just grab on. Hold well, no. on. They... Rrr! And they actually, multiply... Rrr! Actually, what I saw was... was you know, you look down, maybe you're, you're, you're sitting on the bowl, and you look down at your underwear, you take a glance, you're like, what's that? Oh, because there's all kinds of what? the dead ones, after a while, they die. Oh, they fall off into your yeah, underwear? They fall off into your ah! underwear. Rick's got the crack hotel in his, in his pants. <laughs> so you look down you look into down your underwear like, and I'm you like, saw... It looked like dandruff. And I'm like, what the hell is that? What color was it? It was like a, like a I don't know, it looked like onion flakes. Oh, okay. Looked like onion, onion flakes, flakes in flakes. your underwear. Yeah. So you, what did you do? You picked one up? Yeah. And saw it have legs. <laughs> Big dog. Ah, and, you gotta look, and you gotta look really close at it and like, oh my god, that's a bug. I got and, bug and then you're like, why is there a bug in my underwear? Yeah, exactly. And then you look down at your uh area and yeah. you just saw him crawling around? No, I, I just immediately pulled up my pants and went Ew. to the doctor and, and I had to get it like, you know, get the shampoo. <laughs> get the shampoo. Don't be scratching. Shampoo. And you're scratching your head. Dude, don't scratch. Oh, get in the bathroom, check. Dude, shut up. You never know. I'm doing it for your own protection and everyone else's. You never know in those beds. Oh, my God. I had a slight itch. Oh, my God. (laughs) Don't scratch. (laughs) Gross. Oh, my God. I'm fine. But it was was an interesting night, to say the least. And then reading about us in the paper while I was in that situation, I'm like, man, what the hell? Reading about us in an article that contains, like, uh, figures like 25 million and huge uh, radio companies. And there you are in the crack hotel (laughs) in my own sweat, naked, because I'm still waiting for my underwear to dry. (laughs) He walked in there, the crabs, uh, like uh, like an amusement park just sat down. (laughs) Come on. All right. Please, sir. Well, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm never sharing again. <laughs> F you. Well, you can share the stories. Just don't share anything you bring back from these rooms. Get your balls out. <laughs> Flap your ass up. Slap your scrotum. It's today. Though it may not be anyone's birthday. And it's not near the 4th of July. Uh, we'll be back with the Opie and Anthony show. Stay there.